West End recover after the pandemic. We'll discuss the future of theatre with singer and actor John Ellis, and that's at 9.30. West End recover after the pandemic. We'll discuss the future of theatre with the singer and actor John Ellis at half past nine. He played in Phantom. And again, West End theatres have yet to reopen their doors, leaving many to question whether the industry will recover from the pandemic. Next week, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber will give evidence to MPs about the case for reopening performance venues. Uh, to discuss all of that, joined by West End singer and actor John Ellis, who's also released a new album during lockdown. Hello to you. Hello, Kay. How are you? I am very well indeed. I know that you have previously performed in Phantom, haven't you? Seeing the West End dark must uh, bring a tear to your eye. It does indeed. I mean, it's 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 a really sad time at the moment, uh, walking through the streets of the West End and, and in theatres all over the country, in fact. Um, you know, we're really facing a, a terrible time and uh, we're, in a, we're in a bad state. Yeah. What did you play in Phantom? I played a role called Ubaldo Pianzi. He, uh, he's basically like, uh, for your viewers, uh, Pavarotti or uh, Andrea Bocelli. So he's the, the great uh, opera singer of his time. Oh, wow. And how there's so many of your colleagues who uh, have found themselves in a position where, you know, they just aren't working at the moment. You decided to use your time constructively, didn't you? That's true. I, I mean, I, I was in a production of Phantom at the time when we... Uh, got the call about COVID and, and uh, I thought, well, you can either sink or swim. And at, at the time, um, all musicians, everyone was out of work. We were all in the same boat. So I hired a few of our orchestra and uh, got, got together in a studio and I put down uh, 10 beautiful tracks. And um, yeah, I'm really proud of what I've achieved, actually. It's, uh, I think uh, people have really found this time really, really tough and, and it has been, um, but I think there are good news stories out there about our industry and we just need to, you know, really support each other at this time of crisis. Tell me a bit more about Cop Kino. You said you've done 11 tracks, did you say? A 10, that's, yeah. Oh. So, Cop Kino is actually a, a German word um, and it, I think it really represents what's going on in my mind at the moment. But it's about um, having a cinema in your head and I think this last uh, few months of the pandemic, I think a lot of my colleagues and in the art sector particularly, I mean, across the board, but I think we are finding it particularly difficult, uh, having real moments of um, struggle in our brain about, you know, should we continue on with our careers? Um, so it's a really eclectic uh, a group of songs. Um, if you like Andrea Bocelli or Josh Groban or Ludovico Inaldi, um, there's something in there for everyone. I don't, maybe you could listen to it in a bar uh, or, uh, you know, after a hard day at work, but we're uh, lucky enough to be there at the moment. And, uh, you know, I, I've tried to, um, use all facets of my voice. I'm, I'm lucky, I, I, I'm a big album tenor, a big uh, operatic tenor, but um, I love all facets of, of music, and uh, so I've been lucky to use all styles and genres in this album. Well, let's give it a plug. How do people get hold of it? Can, it, can they download it? Can they stream it? Well, how, how do they get hold of it? They can. So I have it on my website, which I think you have the information, but also if you want Spotify, iTunes, or, you know, all, all of the above, or on my own uh, website, pronounced.com. Oh. So, yeah, you can find it, and, and um, it's been one of those moments where I think, um, I mean, I was surprised at the reaction. We went to number one in the iTunes charts uh, in, in the Australia, in my home country. We went to number two in the uh, classical charts here in the UK, and number 10 in Germany on the first few days. So I think there's merit for it. I think there's there's something, I think it's a good album. I'm very proud of it. And, I'm uh, sure. You know, I think... Talk to me yeah, about I, I the West people... End. Johnny, talk to me about the West End, if you would. Do you think, when do you think that people will be able to go back to the theatre? Look, I wish it was today. I mean, we are, we are decimated. Our industry has been absolutely obliterated. We can't, um, we can't forward think at the moment. And that's something that our industry really looks, looks to. We need dates in order to, um, obtain information to be able to you know get back to our jobs and our, our careers um we're not talking about just actors we're talking about sound technicians and lighting designers and directors and and we're also talking about regional theaters as well not just the west end of course the west end is a huge huge part of of the theater industry um i mean i was i was there at the uh socially distanced uh, uh theater um 
trial at, at the London Palladium, which Andrew Lloyd Webber put on. And look, it was a great trial, and it was great to see that we can get back into the theater. And Beverly Knight did an amazing job that day, but it's just not viable. So we need some more answers from the government, and we need to kind of get a plan in place. Um, socially distanced theater is not a way forward. No. It's, it's unfortunately, sounds great in principle. Um, and it's a, I think it's a lovely tagline that the government has, has brought in. But, you know, as a young producer myself as well, I do a little bit of producing on the side. And I think at the moment we even contemplate putting, you know, your own money into the art sector. You're just not sure you're going to get it back. So yeah. Yeah. this is the concern. Johnny, um, good luck with the album. Great that it went to uh, number one. Some of the points that you're making, perhaps Andrew Lloyd Webber will make to MPs when he speaks to them in front of the Select Committee next week. For now, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks a lot. See ya.